The first thing I think you need to understand is that these people that you're comparing yourself to, you don't really know. Because who will say no to that influence and lifestyle that she enjoys? What that means is that you see their shiny outside, but you don't see the reality of their life. Comparison is the thief of joy. But when you compare yourself to others, you feel like you have less, you feel like you are less. But the question is, do you give yourself enough time? So, comparison. So when I looked at the dictionary terms, it said it is a consideration and estimate of the similarities or dissimilarities between two things or people. Please note here these two key terms, similarities or dissimilarities, are not only the most important part of the definition, but also play an essential role in your life. Okay, so before proceeding, I want to pause here a little. No, it's not an ad break. I just want to tell you why I'm making this video. Look, in today's world, we tend to compare ourselves with other people, sometimes more than necessary, especially checking social media. And for the past, and for the past few months, I am also a victim of this. I mean, I suffered badly as I fell into this comparison trap. Just checking social media and, and doing irrelevant types of comparison, comparing myself with others. I severely developed a low self-esteem and I realized it not only acting as a barrier for my spiritual and personal growth but also my mental condition was going downwards and the aim of this channel is to grow mentally and spiritually so i decided with the process of working on this what i have understood regarding comparison i need to make this video so in this piece i want to break the hell out of comparison we'll see what actually comparison is how it now become a global phenomena big especially because of the social media issues and how we can stay away from this trap okay so let's continue the video again let's break down this definition comparison is like looking in a mirror of our mind it shows us what we could become and what we are afraid we are not <laughs> yes it's tricky sometimes it pushes us to get better but other times it makes us feel bad about ourselves it helps us improve but also trap us in always feeling that we are not good enough and humans tend to focus more on the downbeat aspects of comparison due to our inherent negativity bias because they focus on what they lack instead of what they can improve. It leads up to negative feelings like envy, jealousy, inferiority, inadequacy, stress, anxiety, depression, and self-doubt. Okay, let's clear it out with some modern day examples in your daily life where you become victim of comparison. Social media envy. Seeing friends' vacation photos make you feel like your life is boring. This constant stream of seemingly perfect moment can make your daily routines feel mundane and unfulfilling. These unhealthy comparisons and distorted perception of reality make you feel you are not living to a certain standard. Career progress With professional milestones frequently shared on websites like LinkedIn or any other networks, you feel pressured to achieve the similar career successes, even if you are doing well in your career. Body image The fitness and beauty industry's presence on social media has intensified unrealistic comparisons of physical appearance. Look, I think some are genuinely inspiring. It takes them years and years of methodical discipline to get into that position. But no one understand that. And that is the problem. People only see the end result and start to compare themselves. Relationships. 
Hearing about a friend's perfect date might make you feel dissatisfied with your relationship. In front of your friends, you may appear happy but somewhere inside there is a feeling of envy or dissatisfaction. I don't know, social media and reality TV often portray idealized relationships setting unrealistic expectations. This leads to dissatisfaction with your relationship as you compare them to heavily edited or entirely fictional portrayals of love and romance. Financial status. Agree or disagree, in today's world, success is linked to material positions. And the first thing that comes here is making it familiar to compare your finances. Uh, the great example here would be maybe probably seeing other purchases thing that you don't have which ultimately leads to financial stress as you think if they can buy it and you don't then they are more financially capable than you probably something like that comparison is something we all do often without even realizing it it's like our brain is checking how we are doing in life we look at others and measure ourselves against them, our looks, jobs, relationships. You'll be surprised by how human mind makes this comparison. I mean, you do this, but you probably do not recognize how you do it. Let's make this clear. The phenomena is called as social comparison theory. Depending on which in the article, the social comparison on social network sites, the authors write that central to the social comparison process is a selection of comparison target. Upward that is superior other versus downward that is inferior others. Especially assimilation refers to the comparer's self-evaluation changing towards comparison target. Becoming more positive after upward comparison and more negative after downward comparison. And this is now getting interesting. Conversely, contrast refers to the comparer's self-evaluation changing away from the comparison target. Becoming more negative after an upward comparison and positive after a downward comparison. Which, which basically means that we can feel better or worse depending on who we are comparing ourselves to and how we react. We might feel inspired or even inadequate by someone doing better that is upward or feel superior to someone doing worse that is downward. So it clearly adds up to another point that comparison can make you feel bad but also proud if you compare yourself with the people who haven't achieved as much as you but this is also not good as it fosters a sense of superiority or lack of empathy for others. It fuels your ego and ego can be the biggest barrier in your personal and spiritual growth. By the way, if you're interested in how to let go of ego, then I have recently made a video on this linked below. Check it out if you are interested. But now the question is how to solve this problem. You will not stop scrolling Instagram or stop comparing yourself when you see your friends rambling about their success stories right so let's talk about the solution now understanding the triggers and cultivate awareness when meditating the key is to notice when your mind starts wandering recognize this as a trigger and gently bringing back your focus is basically what we do in meditation similarly with comparisons become aware when your mind starts to compare yourself with others acknowledge this trigger and understand that you are entering into this comparison cycle which can make you feel bad this can and this can happen while scrolling through social media or hearing about a friend's success anytime when you catch yourself doing this, which is basically recognizing the trigger, shift your attention back to your journey and focus on your goals and how you can achieve them. 
practice mindfulness in your everyday life focus on performing your dharma which is your duties comparing yourself with your past how far you have come which things are working and which are not and what actions you can take to reach your goals practice equanimity which basically means fostering a balanced and calm mindset in every situation in the bhagavad gita it is mentioned that keep a balanced mind in pleasure and pain gain and loss victory and defeat by doing this you will detach yourself from the outcome of your work and focus only on the process no matter how many people surrounding you are getting success limit social media stop using social media <laughs> no 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 i'm not telling you to do that because i know in today's age it is not possible neither for you nor for me until you are very determined about it but what you can do is limit your social media usage instead of mindless scrolling do mindful scrolling be aware of what you are consuming for example scrolling through your social media if you see someone with the perfect body you might desire to have that then in the next post you see another person with an expensive car and you want that too next you see a post about elon musk and wished to be as smart as him here your mind does not realize these qualities belong to different people and combines them into one perfect person making you feel inadequate which is pointless right so be aware of that and set a timer for your social media usage consume less and create more it changes the entire game practice self appreciation and gratitude frequently remind yourself of your achievements and no matter how big or small they are from your childhood to now and remember you have made it this far by overcoming different challenges reflect on that and think about how unique your journey is acknowledge your efforts even when outcomes are not perfect remind yourself of your strengths and positive qualities practice gratitude every day remind of the three things in your life that you are grateful for reframe your perspective on others remember at the beginning i mentioned in the definition of comparison that sometimes it pushes us to get better so follow the people whose success act as motivation to yourself instead of feeling envious or inadequate ask yourself what you can learn from their journey what habits or strategies contributed to their success that you can apply in yours how you can apply similar principles of them to your own life and goals practice abundance mindset which means suppose if you see your friends are having more wealth than you that doesn't mean that the wealth is going to decrease there's plenty of wealth in the world to go around for everyone so when you celebrate others achievements you are creating a positive environment that can lift everyone up including you it's all about learning from others success thinking oh this too is possible possible very possible <laughs> another picture i recently saw on reddit which really enlightened me with the concept of comparison wait i'm showing it to you you have probably seen this but that is not the point i just want to show it to you <laughs> look look at this picture so there is always a bigger fish right like if i were kevin hart and compare my height with dwayne johnson then this is going to be a completely unfair comparison because Dwayne Johnson also has another one to compare his height and like this the list goes on so comparing these things are baseless right overall these are the ways you can stop comparing yourself with 
others you can take a screenshot if you want so i am recently doing something that is also helping me to get out of this comparison trap which is constantly reminding myself that everything takes time no one achieved anything instantly the person who you are comparing with has not achieved anything instantly so trusting the process is helping me a lot anyways hope this helped you somehow if you watched this far then thank you share this video with at least one person whom you think need this meet you soon